this video, I will show you how to upgrade from Windows 10 to the latest version of Windows 11 on a Mac. Right now, I am running the latest version of Windows 11 on my Mac. And everything is working perfectly. Even the bootcamp app is running smoothly, allowing me to switch between Mac OS and Windows anytime I want. Additionally, if I open Device Manager, you will see that every single Windows 11 driver is fully installed on this Mac. That's what makes using Windows 11 on this machine feels just like using it on a regular PC. So, how can you unlock the full power of dual booting Mac OS and Windows on your Mac? Let's find out. Please note this video is for educational purpose only. Although this process is very safe, I highly recommend backing up all your important data before proceeding. So in case of any complications, you won't lose any of your data. In my previous video, I showed you the step-by-step -step method to install Windows 10 and Bootcamp drivers on a Mac. If you missed that video, the link is in the video description. Anyway, after installing Windows 10 on your Mac, Navigate to the Microsoft website to download the latest version of Windows 11. Scroll down and select the option to download the Windows 11 ISO file. On the next page, carefully choose the same language that you use for your Windows 10 installation. For example, if you install Windows 10 in US English, choose US English for Windows 11 as well. If you can't remember which language you selected during the Windows 10 installation, then don't worry. Copy this command from the video description, then open your command prompt as an administrator. Now paste the command, press enter and it will display the language of your Windows installation. After that, proceed to download the Windows 11 ISO file from the next page. After downloading the Windows 11 ISO file, head over to this GitHub page to download a small piece of software called Flyby11. Make sure to download the latest version of this software. This tool removes the restriction that prevent you from installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. After downloading the software, navigate to your downloads folder. Next, extract the flyby11 zip file. Once extracted, double click on the flyby11 and then click the start upgrade now button. If you prefer to perform a clean installation using a USB drive, select this option. However, since we are upgrading the system, you need to drag the Windows 11 ISO file into the Flyby11 window. Click OK and close the software. Your Windows 11 installation will begin shortly. Next, you may see an Install Windows Server screen. Don't worry. This won't install Windows Server on your system. It will install Windows 11. Next, click on Change House Setups Downloads Update and choose Not Right Now, then click Next. On the next page, you will need to choose what you want to keep. If you want to keep your personal files only, select second option. If you perform a clean installation, choose third option. And if you want to keep your files, settings and apps, then select the first option. Finally, click the install button to start the installation of Windows 11 on your Mac. The installation process will take some time, depending on your system configuration. During this process, 
your computer will restart several times which is normal so don't worry sit back and relax After a while, you will see that Windows 11 has been successfully installed on your Mac. As you can see, everything is working as expected. My boot cam is working fine and I can easily switch between Windows 11 and Mac OS Sequoia. Additionally, if I go to device manager, you can see that all my Windows 10 driver are still installed and compatible with Windows 11. Now I can enjoy both macOS and Windows 11 on my Mac. So friends, if this video helped you, please show your support by liking and sharing it. For more Mac related videos, please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.